Hello everyone and welcome to the Coach Crab 127 tutorial video today. This tutorial video is going to explain to you how to download and play the Zelda 2 randomizer ROM hack created by DigShake. So um, before you download the Zelda 2 uh, randomizer ROM hack you will have to make sure that you have an emulator downloaded that plays NES games FCEUX is a really good NES emulator and also Nestopia is another really good NES emulator so you can do either one of those two also you need to make sure you have the Zelda 2 ROM file downloaded so you can play uh, the Zelda 2 ROM on your emulator if you can play the Zelda 2 ROM on your emulator you should be golden you should be able to download this ROM hack and play it easily okay so after you've downloaded the Zelda 2 ROM and your NES emulator go to Google and type in Zelda 2 randomizer click on the first link that pops up you'll see it says dig shake at the beginning that is the person who created this Zelda 2 ROM hack so you can thank him for playing uh, for uh, creating this ROM and uh, you can also watch dig shakes videos his the, his live streaming of Zelda 2 randomizer uh, tournaments and just uh, playthroughs and speedruns at twitch.tv slash digshake okay so once you come to this page right here click on download and after you click on download click on the here button link right here and this uh, window will pop up just click on save file make sure you know which window you're saving the uh, file which folder you're saving the file in click save alright now open up that file that you just that file folder that you just saved it under. Let's see, I saved it under games, email, NES. Okay, scroll down to where it will be. It will be at the bottom since so it starts with the Z, Z2, randomizer, double click it. Uh, now I've downloaded this before, so it says repair Zelda 2 randomizer or remove Zelda 2 randomizer. So I'm just going to go ahead and do repair and finish. And now it is an installing for me. For you, it might say install or something different like that but that's fine just click OK alright installation complete I'm gonna click close now we have the Zelda 2 randomizer uh, .exe which is what you want oh yes take note you have to have Windows Windows 7, 8 or 10 to play the Zelda 2 randomizer it does not work on a Mac or older versions of Windows okay so whoop where to go <laughs> here it is Zelda 2 randomizer double click on it and here it is it will open the Zelda 2 randomizer box for you so this is what you need this is the most important thing right here to be able to play the Zelda 2 ROM first of all really really important make sure that you have up here the ROM file that you are going to hack okay and that is the Zelda 2 ROM click on browse um, for me you need to make sure that you have your games emulator NES and you need to have your Zelda 2 ROM selected because that is the ROM you are going to hack so make sure you have that ROM selected okay now there's all different kinds of uh, settings you can have on the Zelda 2 randomizer um, if this is your first time ever playing the Zelda 2 randomizer uh, you might want to click on beginner okay and it'll show you the different kind of flags that it will create that whatever these settings are all of these settings are called flags so um, if you click on beginner you will start with the candle as you see you will start with the hammer and you will also start with the life spell so that is one way to do it you can uh, um, just click on beginner and those will pop up or you can choose whatever you want to you know you can start with whatever items you want to just by clicking uh, play around with the flags have fun with it and uh, just whatever you want to start with you can do it, do it that way if you want to there's all other different kinds of settings too, con uh, concerning the overworld the palaces your levels and spells, the enemies and how much points they're worth and how much uh, hit uh, power uh, they have um, and everything like that. Also the items and a couple of miscellaneous that we'll talk about a little bit later. Okay, so the flags I like to play with the most and you might need to be a little bit more experienced to do this. Beginner would be a good one to start with. The beginner flags would be a good one to start with. The ones that I always like to play with is tournament. Tournament you start with the candle only. Okay, so if you want to um, do tournament flags just click on that real quickly and it'll automatically select start with candle only for you also another uh, setting that I like to do is I like to click on random tunic color 
that changes the color of Link's clothes. So he, he'll have completely random color of clothes. It could be blue, it could be uh, yellow, pink, purple, uh, any kind of uh, color that's available. So um, once you have decided which flags you want to have and once you have checked off any other miscellaneous um, uh, settings that you want to include, you have to click on the create seed button. Now this right here is a random number generator which actually randomizes your Zelda 2 ROM. Okay, So once you have your um, flag selected and once you have clicked on create seed click on generate ROM. And after you click on generate ROM you'll have to wait maybe about 10 seconds sometimes a little bit longer. So we're waiting right now for it to create the ROM. And there you go. Vials, uh, vile, file Z2150200 blah 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 has been created. Okay, so that is the randomized ROM that you need to choose. So click OK. You can now close out of your randomizer. You can close out of this as well. And you can close um, your uh, Google window as well. Open up your NES file, your NES uh, emulator. Go to File and open up that ROM hack that was just created. Right here. Zelda 2 150. It will be saved in the same window, or the same folder, excuse me. It will be saved in the same folder as your Zelda 2 ROM. So then you click on the randomized uh, ROM hack and there you go. Now you can play it. As you can see, you can register your name, make your name whatever you want, and then you can start playing your ROM hack of Zelda. As you can see, once I exit, once I exit here, there you go. Zelda 2 has been randomized. All right, so that is how you play Zelda 2 randomizer ROM hack. Okay, if you have any other questions, feel free to leave a comment. And hopefully I will be able to answer it. If not, I will direct you towards uh, Digshake, who I'm sure will be very happy to answer your questions uh, over at twitch.tv slash Digshake. So thanks a whole lot, and I hope uh, everybody has a uh, uh, wonderful time playing their Zelda 2 randomizer ROM hack.